Memento Composite ships with a couple of sample projects for you to try and play with. These projects are found under Demo in the Projects folder. In this video, we're going to use the school layout as a starting point. To see how the project was put together, simply select one of the composite frame to find out what query was used. The main frame was populated with everybody with the role of student. The secondary composite frames were populated with the faculty members. We're going to modify this layout to make it a per grade with teacher design. Select the main composite frame and change the query to grade. In the second drop down menu, you'll notice an option called IntelliFlow that will allow Memento Composite to create separate layouts for each grade. We'll use the second composite frame to display the teacher for that grade. Select the frame and look at the composite frame query. It is currently set to show all members of faculty. Since we only need one instance of that picture, we need to exclude the teacher from the main group. To do that, check the Exclude Portrait from Composite and select the main composite frame. You'll notice that one frame will be automatically removed from the main composite frame. Let's replace the CSV file to see what we would get with actual photos. After importing a new CSV file, click on Generate Composite Set to see the actual results. Now let's go back and edit this layout to make it a lot more interesting. Delete the third composite group as this will become a grade with teacher layout. To display an image from the CSV file, instead of the cartoons, go to Portrait Template and under Default Sample Image, choose one of the photos from the CSV file. While under Portrait Template, let's choose School 2 under Demo Templates to display the student pictures into an oval. Now let's resize and reposition that frame to better fit our layout. To fix the layout of that composite frame, go to Grid Settings. At this point, you'll be able to choose the exact number of columns and rows, or let the software do it for you by clicking on Maximize. If you want to change the spacing in between images, you can once again do it manually or allow Memento Composite to do it for you. The largest group in the query will dictate how many frames are visible in the layout screen. Now let's drag and drop a logo onto that layout. If you drop the logo on top of the composite frame, you may notice that the frame will turn red as it's running out of space to display all of the images. If you click on the Fix button, Memento Composite will resize the images to allow you to place that logo. For this demo, we're just going to resize the logo and place it at the top right. Now let's drag and drop an image that will be used as a background. Once again, the composite frame shows in red as it's running out of space for the images inside. But this time we don't need the image to occlude any of the portrait frames. While selected under General Layout, uncheck the Occlude Composite Frame option. Right click on the image and choose Set as Background. To create extra space to make the picture of that teacher larger, we're going to use Manual Knockouts. Select the main composite frame and go to Knockouts. Choose Add Remove Knockouts. Then click on the top two images. This will send the two images on the bottom row. Resize and reposition the teacher's photo and fine tune the rest of your layout. Click on Generate Composite Set to get a preview of the layouts. Note that everything you see under the composite set can still be modified. As an example, you could replace the background for each individual layout. When everything is done, click on Finalize to create JPEGs, PDFs, or multi-layered PSD files. 